All right, today we are back testing camera phones. Once again, the all new Google Pixel 7 Pro, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and the all new Xiaomi 12T Pro with the 200 megapixel sensor. Who's gonna win out of this battle royale? Zachy, who do you think is gonna win? I think it's gonna be uh, iPhone. iPhone? <laughs> I think it could be the iPhone too, but we're gonna find out. Anyway, let's get down to testing the front facing cameras in video first. Okay, first we're doing the front facing camera here, 4K 30, because the iPhone can do 4K 24, but I think the Android phones are only doing 4K 30 or 1080 30 for the Xiaomi. Anyway, let's do some video right now. Talking to the, uh, the camera, as you can tell, it's in stabilization, hand holding it, great exposure, everything is balanced. iPhone obviously does really good front facing camera video. We all know this. I don't need to do too much on this. Anyway, let's go to the Google. Pixel 7 Pro. We're using the front facing camera here for 4K 30p on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And I gotta tell you, it's looking good, Zachy. This is looking really good. It's got a little more contrast than the iPhone. The iPhone's a little bit less contrasty here, but a lot of great detail. Uh, stabilization seems pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Now let's go to the Xiaomi 12T. Here's the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Now, of course, Xiaomi's only due. 1080p, 30 or 60p. So, yeah, it is what it is. You don't get 4K with the Xiaomi's. You've never gotten 4K with the Xiaomi's. In 2022, Xiaomi has yet to give us 4K for the front facing camera. So, I mean, we kind of know how this is gonna go. I mean, look, granted, Instagram Reels, TikTok, you're not using 4K, but you can always, you know, crop it if you want to. It's good to have some extra resolution. But this one looks a little bit blown out in the background. I'm not looking good on the Xiaomi. This is not my best look out of the Xiaomi. So it's between the iPhone and the Google Pixel 7. Let us know what you think in terms of video. Now we're gonna go into camera mode. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, photos, front facing camera photo mode here. I'm using the Xiaomi 12T Pro here. Got the elephants in the background. Look at that. Nice vibrant colors. A Little bit contrasty, sky is blown out. Can't see much of the clouds. It's got a 20 megapixel sensor on this, but does this mean it's gonna be better? You let us be the judge. Okay, now we're on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Great color tones on the skin, not overexposed. You can still see the clouds here. Everything is well balanced. Yeah, the elephants look great. My little green Dumbo friend here. He's probably got a different name. I just called him something else that hopefully it's not too bad, but this is Dumbo. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes it's not about the megapixels. It's about how it resolves the image, the colors, the exposure, all that is important. Now let's go to the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Looking at the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, more contrasty, you're gonna see more detail in the shadows with the iPhone versus the Pixel 7 Pro here, but a lot of good detail. You can see the clouds good. You can see my teal Dumbo, but he's now blue, he's not teal. So I would say the colors are probably more accurate out of the iPhone out, than out of the Google Pixel 7 Pro. But yeah, not bad, but a little bit contrasty. Okay, now we're gonna be testing the rear cameras for video. Now in front of me, I've got Rajini Khan. We're in Little India, by the way. Now, Zaki says he's the most famous Bollywood actor of all time. Is this true, Zaki? It is. Okay. You watch Bollywood movies? Yes, I do. All right. I watch something, R, 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 something? R, R, some, uh, triple R. Something, R, 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 R on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, 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 I watch yeah, it on yeah. Netflix, man. Hey, it's pretty good. The CGI and the fighting is awesome. Let's get here to the video real quick. Look at this up here. Oh, so nice. Great colors, great stability. That's the main camera. Go two, go three. Rajini Khan is looking fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna ultra wide as well. Got this van in front of us. Not really cinematic, Jackie, but you know, we're not concentrating on the van. Now we go to the Pixel 7 Pro to see how good the video is here. Okay, the colors are very, they pop a little bit more here. More contrasting, same with the photos. But it looks good. Go to number two. Okay, a little bit blurry there at five times. Sharpens up a bit. Got this guy right here trying to back up into us. <laughs> Great for video. Hey, but I gotta tell you right now, looking at the blue here, the blue pops, man. The colors really pop on this video for this. But it's just more contrasty. This guy single-handedly ruined our Rajini Khan shots. And he keeps doing it again. Okay, la, whatever. But looking at the, gra uh, the trees right here, the greens are really prominent, very saturated. A little bit more saturated than what you would normally get. Now here's the thing with the Xiaomi though. Unlike these other two that only do 4K, the 
Xiaomi does 8K video. Zachy, I'm gonna break your computer with this file real quick. You ready? 8K video with Rajini Khan. Why is it all the trucks keep coming to us when we're shooting? Can you explain this to me? Call this in, Zachy? I mean, I know we had a little bit of budget for the shoot, but you have to bring these guys in? 8K, 24P. You can record up to six minutes in 8K. I guess the phone overheats, I don't know. Or maybe it's just storage. Let's zoom in. Wow. Look at that. That's 8K, baby. Go all the way back. All right. And just to play fair, because no other phone has 8K except the Xiaomi, we are gonna go into 4K. But 4K only does 30 and 60 like the Pixel 7. There it is. And go back. So now we're gonna go into cinematic mode. Now the Xiaomi doesn't have cinematic mode, but the Pixel 7 Pro does, and so does the iPhone. Let's see who has the better cinematic mode in 4K. Let's go. Well, exactly, it's not every day we see a famous celebrity here in Singapore, Mr. Stark himself. Hey, Tony, you mind if I take a photo? How about I do cinematic mode with Iron Man? What do you think? Yeah. No, that car is dope, bro. Look at that. I want that. This is 4K. We're going to go back to Iron Man. Because the Xiaomi doesn't do cinematic mode, it's between the iPhone and the Pixel. Oh, interesting. I gotta correct myself. The Pixel 7 Pro does not do 4K cinematic mode, it only does HD. Doesn't matter, we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, something interesting about the cinematic mode on the iPhone 14 that I've noticed this year, especially maybe it's the 4K or whatever, but the focusing doesn't stick on as well as it did on the previous generation. For some reason, maybe it's because it's in 4K now versus 1080, but I realize that it does lose focus, whereas the Pixel 7 Pro does a really good job of staying on what you want it to be on focus without having you having to tap on the screen. So perhaps this will be an update that Apple can address in the near future, but I will say in terms of the quality, you guys be the judge, but these are really neck and neck. I think both of them do a fantastic job, but of course the iPhone does 4K 24P now, and the Pixel 7 Pro only does 1080. So, yeah. But I would say in terms of the color, in terms of the look, I kind of prefer the Pixel 7 Pro cinematic look. And that shocked me, because I really like the iPhones, but Google does a really good job. Anyway, let's take some more photos. Trying out portrait mode on the iPhone. An interesting concept here. The portrait mode is more enhanced on the iPhone, and of course you can adjust it down. It does look a little bit more like you have a longer focal length lens versus the Pixel 7, which is not as prominent. So between the portrait modes on this, even at F9 on the iPhone, versus whatever it is here on the, uh, on the Pixel 7. I think I gotta hand it to the iPhone. What do you guys think? We'll, we'll put it up in post. Yeah, yeah, put it up in post. <laughs> you can't see shit here. What do you guys think? Look at it and we'll put it up here on the screen. You let us know what you guys think. But I will tell you, I think the iPhone wins in this regard. 50 megapixels, 48. Obviously, 12 megapixel images, but I think the Apple's really improved on the portrait mode versus the Pixel. Should I try the Xiaomi? What do you think? Yeah, can you give it a shot? Just give it a shot. I don't have a lot of faith in the Xiaomi for this portion of it, but you never know. I could be surprised. This could be the sleeper hit. Oh, Zachy, I'm a little surprised. Look at the foreground blur and the background blur. That's looking legit. I'm gonna rank it this way. iPhone 14 Pro Max, Xiaomi 12T Pro, and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. What do you guys think? We're gonna put the images here on the screen, let us know what you think. Okay, you know what, Zachy, this is a photo. This is one of those street photography photos that we should get, right? Okay, what I'm gonna do with this image real quick here, right? 
because we have a 200 megapixel sensor in this. Now to get to the 200 megapixel sensor, it's a little bit tricky. On the Xiaomi, you gotta go to more, ultra HD, then you gotta tap on the 200 megapixels. So you have to do a three-step process get to get to 200 megapixels. But we're here, we're gonna do it. There's a lot of detail, a lot of detail. I gotta say though right away, the iPhone has the more natural natural colors out of all the uh, out of all these phones. With the Pixel 7 Pro, it's changing the actual the tone of the blue slightly to being a little bit more of a royal blue versus this sort of uh, sky blue. So I'm noticing that with some of the colors, it's not as true to what your eye sees. Again, everybody post edits, they post process, you can always fix it, but it's just something to take note of. Okay, let's head to the temple. As we're walking to the temple. Here's a message from our sponsor, MSI. This video is brought to you by MSI. Meet the Summit E6 and Flip, featuring the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor, RTX 30 series graphics, and a 16 inch Quad HD Plus touchscreen panel with a 360 degree hinge. It lets you unleash maximum productivity with up to 11 hours of battery life at just 2 kilograms. The Summit E16 Flip offers unprecedented performance and functionality, allowing you to work and play anywhere, anytime. Okay, now we're gonna capture the architecture of this beautiful temple here in Little India by seeing what the zoom capabilities are on these cameras. So we're gonna try with the iPhone 14 Pro Max here. Now, this goes to three times, and of course, then you can go to digital, I think a little bit more than that, but we're gonna go to three times here, see what it's like, because it crops into the sense that they say. Great exposure on the clouds, you can see the clouds beautifully. I'm gonna zoom in even more, digital zoom. Not bad. A little post-processing happening, coming into play when you zoom in maximum, but it looks good. Valiant effort by the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's go to the Google Pixel 7 Pro here. Now this does five times. You know one thing I like about the Pixel 7 Pro here is you've got this leveler here on the screen, which is nice. Because I always take a, my images on an angle for some reason. I always have to correct it in light, bro. Oh, not bad. This is impressive. Up to 30 times, and the image has got a lot of detail. Yeah, it's a little bit pixelated. This is definitely usable. I would use this. Now we go to the Xiaomi. Go two times. Does it go further? It does. Not as far as the other ones, though. It only goes up to 10 times. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Xiaomi loses this battle. I would say, in terms of reach and resolving power, I gotta give it to the Pixel 7 Pro on this. iPhone comes in a close second, but the iPhone image looks a little bit more natural than the others do. I mean, I think it's kind of neck and neck between Google and Apple, but the Xiaomi, nah. Right, but here's the question, right? Yeah. If it's 200 megapixels, mm. why don't you just use the main camera and then like crop it in post? Why don't we try it right now? I like it, Zach, when you come with these good ideas like this. Never listen to anybody that says you're not the brightest bulb on the chandelier. Let's try it. 200 megapixels and go. Now, with Zachy's magic, he's going to crop in and show you what it looks like 10 times, 30 times zoom with 200 megapixels and see which camera is the best one. But I'm going to tell you, I think personally, the Pixel 7 has it. But this is very impressive with the detail that we're getting out of 200 megapixels. A lot of pixel binning happening here, but it's pretty impressive. Anyway. Let's move on to some other photos with, what should we do next, Zach? What do you think we should do next? Cameras. Can do people. people. We're gonna shoot people. All right, so next we're gonna shoot some photos of people and see how it captures the face, the skin texture, and the colors, because that's the most important. Because you, when you're with somebody, you always gotta get a nice photo out of them, right? You guys know, you have to be the Instagram boyfriend. You better get the right phone for it, otherwise you're on the couch. Can I take a photo? I can, thank you. No, Zach, I'm gonna take a photo of you. Oh, really? Yeah. Get, get. We're gonna find the right glasses for you. That's you. The color science on the Xiaomi is interesting. It's like overexposed, oversaturated. It's a look. I won't say it's bad because it kind of reminds me a little bit of film in a way, but it's a look. And you may not like this look. It's really a lot of processing happening here. Now, when I'm looking at the Pixel 7 Pro, 
it does a really good job in terms of portrait with person. The skin tone looks great. There's a little bit more contrast as we've been talking about in this video, but it looks good. The iPhone does a really good job of exposing the entire scene well, but when you're using, let's say a professional camera, like Zach is using the Z62 for example right here and he's recording me, you're not gonna get that that phone look where everything's exposed correctly. You're gonna get your subjects exposed, but in the background it's gonna be a little bit blurred. Zach, you don't fall, he's going down the steps here. I think to me, in that scenario right there, that the Pixel 7 Pro looked more natural like a professional mirrorless camera. Okay, minus the contrasty look to it, which I don't prefer. I prefer the iPhones, the way that it's a little bit less on the contrast, a little bit more shadows are developed on this. But overall, I would say, I like how the Pixel 7 rendered that image better. Anyway, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, Zachy, uh, let's walk around, take some more photos here in Little India, and then we'll come back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, as you saw from the sample images there in the montage, I mean, all these phones have their pros and cons, right? I mean, the 200 megapixel sensor from the Xiaomi, it's nice, it's kind of a first of its kind, I believe. Other camera manufacturers will come out with it soon, but I just feel that it's not up to par with the 12S Ultra. Of course, that's a like a collaboration, so those cameras will be a lot better, but it pales in comparison to the iPhone and the Pixel 7 Pro. But between the Pixel 7 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I'm gonna have to agree with Zachy on this. I think the iPhone is a complete package in terms of video and in terms of photography. The Pixel 7 Pro has some really strong points, but it also has some weak points as well. And I think that has to do with Android versus iOS. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comment section below which phone you think is better. And if you like this camera review, check out our other camera reviews right here.